and welcome to another episode of Rare Pet Diary. This is my first narrated recording, so without further ado, enjoy. We start off with a death death to lack encounter. I uh, checked the spawn to molten core right when I logged on, and sure enough, he was up. So we're on our way to him, and apparently there's already a horde hunter, which actually died as I was eagle eyeing over. Him. Uh, there he is. And I start trying to emote to him, saying I'll help him out. And I don't think he really got the message, because he tries once, he tries twice, tries, well, no, not again. So I log over to, well, I don't log over, I actually go create a horde tune so that I can communicate with them. Now, I did not record the actual whispering conversation, because I forget stuff all the time. But you know what? It's not really important. The most y'all came here to see a death to lack tamed, and that's what you're about to get. So without further ado, after I explained everything I need to trick shot, that's the hunter right next to me. Uh, he starts the pull, and I said my pet. It gets death tracked right away. He loses 10 percent of his health, and it's just a matter of rinse and repeating. It's always fun to help other hunters get death to lack. He's by far one of the more enjoyable uh, mobs. To get he uh, just because, just because of the challenge. I mean, there's not really much of a challenge. It's more of a pushover challenge that just takes some time. But nevertheless, it's always fun. There's been some times where I've had two or three other three other hunters aside besides myself uh, help me to get that flag down. Uh, just for uh, this one other hunter. And it's always very rewarding when you see it, I don't you get a uh, death flag, it's... I don't know how to explain it. So, we're still eating away. I would normally have my other hunter over here as well, so we'd have two pets going in there and, you know, getting it down 20% at a time, rather than just 10% at a time. Uh, this seemed like such a crawl when I was doing it. Uh, but, hey, worth it. Or is it times a million? Now, I think you know what's gonna happen, so let's just go ahead and skip ahead of all this crap and get to the actual tame and wait for it. There is a death strike, and that is the last death strike you will ever do. So while Trick Shot tries to get to the distance, I have to get the attention of the dang spider that tried to attack him. And I'm surprised I didn't aggro the other one as I killed that one. And he starts his tame here. But the problem is, he didn't have enough distance, so Death Strike actually catches up, and he has to abandon his team for fear of being Death Strike. So, once again, he gets back some distance, and I'm scared to death that all these other players might try to start hitting on him. That's but he recharging. doesn't, and Trick Shot finally gets his blue spider. That's still recharging. That's and there he goes. Congratulations to Trick Shot for getting Death Telac. He is actually the first horde hunter that I have helped get Outstanding. pet for. And an hour and a half later, Samus pops up. I've seen so many Karomas, but this is the first time Samus has appeared um, while I am on my red pet finding missions. So it was a, it was a nice treat to finally find him again. I thought he uh, lost the love. But I only needed him on uh, West Pumi. I already had him on West Puma. So it was nice to uh, finally complete my collection of Samus, even though it's only two. But I still have Wesley Tiger that I could get him on, but his, his stables are so full. It's just ridiculous. This is a really simple and easy tame. It's just one of those you find the pet, you tame the pet situations. So, yay, I got my new lion. And that will do it for this episode of Rare Pet Diary. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, this is something new I've been trying with the whole voice narration. So, I will be back another time with the next voice recording. Please leave any feedback you have in the comments. And take care. Till next time.